50 years old, and it's almost hard to believe by the way she looks. She's been to over 140 different countries, and she's had over 40 different careers. Most of you may know who she is, and who am I talking about? Well, Barbie. <laughs> um, she, in Susie Parker's 2008 article about The Economist, she discusses how Barbie is such a phenomenon, and how she's really changed, um, I guess, toys in general. Basically, today I'm going to be talking about three main points, which are the past, present, and future of Barbie. Um, first, my first point is going to be the uh, past. And basically, I remember when I was younger, um, I looked. I was looking in my closet for something, and I found this old Barbie, and it was a Hawaiian Barbie. And I remember looking at her, and she had a different face. And I compared her to my other Barbies, and she looked completely different. And that's because over the years, um, Mattel has actually changed the look of Barbie in several different ways. Um, Barbie, originally, her, well, her name, I don't know if some of you know this or not, but her name is Barbie Millicent Roberts, and she was actually introduced in a toy factory, or a toy, I'm sorry, a toy fair in New York uh, by Ruth Handler, who created her in 1959. This was during the post-war culture, and the economy was thriving, so this was a perfect time to introduce this new, this new um, doll, I guess you could say. She was this this fashion model, and she had the perfect life, so all the girls wanted to have one of these dolls. They were transitioning from regular baby dolls to these Barbie dolls. A cost of an average Barbie doll back in the day was about $3. Now, the cost of a Barbie well exceeds that amount. My next point is going to be the present. Um, top selling, Barbie used to be the top selling doll, um, as stated by Suzanne Kaffner in her 2009 issue of Fortune. Um, victim to changing tastes and competition, most notably to Bratz dolls, is what she quoted. Barbie sales were up 18%, but that still wasn't as good as the past. She was doing better, but it still was having some um, impacts, especially now with the economy. Bratz stole the spotlight. They had this new look. They were very bratty. They had cool names like Yasmin and Chloe. And they just really, I guess, over, I guess, I don't know how to explain it. They really, um, they were better, I guess, than Barbie at a point more, they were having more sales, more people were interested in them. In Time Magazine, um, there's an article by Nancy Gibb, and she was talking about how Barbie has really changed. Before it used to be Nurse Barbie, but now she can be Dr. Barbie. Before it used to be Stewardess Barbie, and now she can be Astronaut Barbie. So over the years, Mattel has really tried to change Barbie in these different ways. And Mattel tries to keep up with fashions, especially because um, of Barbie's 50th birthday, which just passed this year. And they teamed up with different fashion designers, such as Kamora Lee, Simmons, they teamed up with Vera Wang, um, Juicy Couture, to make these different Barbies that really, um, I guess, show off those fashions. And recently, even more recently than that, Jonathan Adler, who's a designer, he actually designed a Malibu dream house, a real life one in Malibu, California, um, which, some pictures. This is the 1959 Barbie, and this is the 1959 and the more recent Barbie. They did a replica, but of now. And then these. This is the Malibu Dream House that um, Jonathan Adler made for Malibu, the Malibu Barbie, I guess you could say. Um, lastly, I'll be talking about the future of Barbie, and how in in New York they have. Um, or in New York, there's an article called Barbie Heading to the Silver Screen. They've made a lot of different movies recently, but they've been cartoon movies um, featuring new Barbies that they've had that have come out. But they're doing this real-life Barbie movie that's going to be produced by Lawrence Mark, and he's also the producer of Dream Girls and of um, Julie and Julia, which recently came out. There's no word on who's going to be playing Barbie yet or her um, anatomically incorrect partner, Ken but it should be interesting who they, who they pick for those roles. Um, even, I guess, more recently, they just built a six-story building in Shanghai, China, which is basically a mega building for Barbie. Um, it has Barbie stores on the fourth floor. You're able to actually create your own Barbie. And um, Richard Dixon, who is the general manager for Barbie, he states that there is no reason why in five or 10 years, China shouldn't be the biggest market in the world for us. So th those are their plans. I mean, they're planning in the future to have China become this huge, I guess, market for Barbie, which I thought was very interesting. And basically, I've just discussed the past, present, and future.
future of Barbie, and I hope that I informed you on things that maybe you didn't know about her. Um, there's a lot of different facts that um, I didn't even know and I found very interesting, so thank you.